So now that shelter is out of the way, we needed to concentrate on finding food. And what a better place than Origins Cafe, just outside the village of Cooperstown. This restaurant's main mission is to focus on sustainable foods that are fair for the global community, clean for our planet, and most importantly of all, healthy for our bodies. That's where Brian caught up with Dana and Kristen in their food truck, which is the epicenter that powers Origins Cafe. What do you guys have for us? Gaspacho. Gaspacho. <laughs> So we are making a chilled cucumber and tomato soup. Um, this is an item that we feature on our menu throughout the summer months. We are currently using um, shallots that are from a local farm, homegrown tomatoes, cucumbers. Basically, it's just a lot of dicing in this dish. You chop up all the fresh vegetables. After we finish chopping, we're gonna go to our basil house to harvest some basil, all and right. that will be the fi final touch on the gazpacho. Perfect. <laughs> They weren't kidding. There was a lot of chopping to prepare for this wonderful summertime soup. Every ingredient that is used is grown on premise in their family owned greenhouse or purchased from neighboring suppliers. Even during our interview, one of the locals showed up to drop off some meat. No, you're good. One of our farmers is here to All drop right. off some sausage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. Thank Thanks. you so much. Really appreciate it. So we just got in some nice looking sausage from this woman um, at Mulligan Creek Acres. So this is some breakfast sausage that we'll be using on our menu for the Sunday brunch. All right. I told you, true farm to table. You know, Dana and Kristen traveled the world during the winter months to constantly learn about sustainable agriculture. Then they bring that knowledge back to incorporate it into their greenhouse. The menu is constantly evolving based on what is in season for that time of the year. If you really look at it, it's cooking done the way it was well over a century ago when villages depended on local farmers to sustain life. But just like Dana promised, we took a little trip to the basil garden. Just look at how cute her little basket is. So we are in a whole hoop house full of basil. During the winter months, um, after we returned from our travels, February, March, and April, we spend time starting a lot of different herb and veggie seeds, as well as a lot of the flowers that we grow. Every day we come out and harvest for different dishes. This is for the gazpacho that we were just making, so we'll julienne some up and throw it into that bowl. Back into the kitchen where Dana mixed the shallots, tomatoes, and cucumbers by hand, and yes, added that beautiful aromatic basil. All right, so what do you have, garlic, fresh garlic? Yep, garlic from one of our great friends' farm. She grows thousands of garlic plants every year and brings a lot to us. Time for the broth, more tomatoes, some apple cider vinegar, and finish with olive oil. Blend it up into a puree and into the fresh vegetables. But don't forget some salt. Mix again by hand and add some fresh lemon from the greenhouse. And voila, gazpacho, with 90% of the ingredients grown on premise. Instead of farm to table, I'm calling this one greenhouse to table. Tasting time. All right, sir, your gazpacho. All right. Tell you what, our first date. Oh, here we are. Oh my. You, you really get a chance when you <laughs> sit down and relax. <laughs> it really gives you a time to appreciate all the beautiful vegetation that you have here. It certainly does. Surrounding us right now, we have a papaya tree, we have avocados, coffee. It's really a lot to explore here. Oh, it's a great place. Great place to engage in good conversation and good food. Enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> The gazpacho was incredible and the flavors were explosive. Origins Cafe is unlike any restaurant experience that we have ever had. We are so inspired that we were given two lemon trees to take home and begin our own sustainable farming. Just look at them between us in our 1968 caddy.